Ten years ago today, the Edmonton Oilers selected Neil Yakupov with the first pick in the 2012 draft. What happened to him? Where is he now? Let's back things up for some context. The Oilers finished second last in the league in 2011-12, but Steve Tambellini wore his lucky tie to the draft lottery and they wound up with their third first overall pick in a row. There was quite a bit of debate over what the Oilers should do with this pick. Given they had just spent their previous two first overalls on Taylor Hall and Ryan Nugent Hopkins, the argument was that the Oilers should now be drafting a defenseman. Many argued they should trade down and draft a defender from the WHL like Ryan Murray, Morgan Riley, or Griffin Reinhardt. But others argued that teams should always go with the best player available, and Yakupov drew comparisons to Pavel Bure with his play in the OHL. The Oilers wound up going with the consensus and selected Yakupov. It looked like the right move early on as Yakupov scored 17 goals and 31 points in 48 games in the lockout shortened 2013 season, finished 5th and called the trophy voting. But it was all downhill from there. Yakupov scored 11 goals in 2013-14 and 14 goals in 2014-15, but that was far from enough to make up for how completely lost he looked on the ice otherwise. Over those two seasons, Yakupov had a combined minus 68 rating, among the worst of any player in the NHL. After one more season in Edmonton, Yakupov was traded to the St. Louis Blues for Zachary Pachorio and a third round pick. Pachorio was a non-prospect, but that third round pick was traded along with a fifth round pick to move the Oilers up in the draft to where they would select Stuart Skinner. So while Yakupov might not have panned out as the Oilers had hoped when they picked him first overall in 2012, they still have something to show for it. Yakupov would play one season in St. Louis and another with the Colorado Avalanche and has been playing in the KHL since. In 2021, Yakupov's KHL team, Avangard Omsk, won the Gangarin Cup, though he missed the entirety of the playoff run with complications due to COVID-19. Knowing what we know now, it's easy to say that the Oilers should have selected somebody else in 2012, but it's easy to forget just how much hype Yakupov had as a prospect and how good he was in his rookie season. Yakupov played well with Ralph Kruger as the team's head coach, but his game and his confidence fell off a cliff when the Oilers fired Kruger and hired Dallas Eakins. Maybe Yakupov would have reached his potential in a different environment, or maybe he was always destined to be a bust. Who knows? Regardless, we'll always have this excellent moment from his rookie season.